I was remembering this morning very vividly the night that the five largest panels on this wall were unveiled and dedicated. It was a bitterly cold night. It was Lincoln's birthday in February 1917. Only a few weeks before the United States entered the World War. At the time these were placed, we were still hoping that our country might be the mediator to bring peace between the belligerent nations. And the next day, the legislature of that winter was to open, and uh, the senators were all here, and the balcony was full of visitors. There had been a, a private car that had brought a great many of them from Philadelphia. Governor Brumbaugh, who was about at the end uh, then of his term, he was to leave soon, drew the cords. They were all, all curtained with dark green curtains. He drew the cords of the Washington panel, and they fell. And then the Lincoln panel, and then the armies of the earth, and then the slaves of the earth. And then when they came to the cords of this great panel, 44 feet in length, the cords broke, and the curtain remained. And everybody gave a sort of gasp. I thought that's rather interesting, the panel representing universal peace to be arrived at on the basis of our federal union. That panel isn't so easy to unveil. If that's delayed or if it can't be unveiled until peace is achieved, I think that's only interesting. And then the three panels above were unveiled that night and they represent the armies of the earth striving to take the kingdom of peace by violence. And this represents the slaves of the earth being driven forward and upward by their very slave drivers who are fear and tyranny and greed from the slave ships on and up and they all meet in the city of peace where the shackles are taken off from the slaves and they rejoice in their freedom and the armies see what you can't see here above the steps of the throne. And the leader there surrenders instead of conquering. He surrenders to the idea of peace. And here the weapons are beaten into plowshares and the scholars bring in their highest ideas of the law. And the kings of the earth take off their crowns before the throne. And the little black baby is being washed, baptized in the water of life the great figure in the center symbolizes the water of life, the water that issues from the throne. And uh, it symbolizes the unity of all things. It is painted entirely in blue. Blue is symbolic of the wisdom. The inscription underneath this great central panel is he carried me away to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne. And the kings of the earth to bring their glory and honor into it. And on either side of the river is there the tree of life, the decorative trees you see. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. 